this is the energy vibration reading um, for the um, Aries Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back Wow you Aries um, it is going to be a month for you guys because the month of November is the hair the sign of uh, um, the star and with the energy of the star what happens is that um, it has to do with the air energy you're a fire sign so it can bring you luck um, for one to the helpers in this uh, month is justice and uh, the hermit so you have to look within yourself okay you have to take a good look at yourself it is affecting everyone all other zodiac signs okay because that's the general energy please remember to like share these videos and listen to the general energies because it's going to give you a lot of more information okay um, the moon readings is up so please download the moon readings listen to them because there's a lot of information now this month is coming in with five weeks and the two first weeks is water the third week is the hurt and the two last weeks is going to be good for you fire sign especially the four week for you um, Aries it's going to be very good so let's look at um, the Aries but first of all we're going to call in the guiding angels universal angels light beams to come in and oversees these readings as we are about to give the message for November I'm calling up on um, my guides and angels and all the angels who are governing the Aries people okay so let's go and see Archangel Michael the Sun this is good this is good for you Aries um, the energy of the Sun comes up in this month which is a very very wonderful then we have the energy of light is going to be shed on your enemies okay light is going to be shed on your enemies the Emperor comes up which is a very good sign especially for your financial your work and business the air event is also here which is very very wonderful and then you have the Prince of Pentacles this is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in the last week now I should say that your um, um, your month is going to be very beautiful all major arcana except in the last week now what is happening for you guys is that in um, the first week the general energy is the hangman and you have the Sun so you're going to be um, um, seeing your enemies your enemies are going to be coming out of whatever you're looking for uh, within um, it's it's going to be a beautiful first week for you guys the energy of the Sun because that's your energy vibration as we look at the moon we have the energy of the scorpions and the cancer coming out um, you're going to be seeing your enemies in the second week you're going to be know who are your enemies in the second week third week work is going well for you a lot of promotions is going to be happening financial stabilities um, is going to be happening also for you guys now in the fourth week there's a situation um, with an organization um, and um, is as if uh, um, a devilish sort of a thing but you're going to be able to get over it some of you are have to deal with the Prince of Pentacles that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in the last week let's see what is happening to the first week going in the second week you have the ace of Pentacles so this is good um, you are going to be having financial stability coming in and this is wonderful as we look at the second week going in the third week you have the eight of Pentacles so some of you are going to be having extra work um, um, extra work is coming in um, work is coming in for you guys extra work so that is going to be good that is going to be pushing you forward third week going in the fourth week we have the three of swords the three of swords with a work situation and the organization and then the fourth week going in the fifth week we have the three of cups so this is this is really really something because you have um, the three of swords with an organization um, um, it could be the end um, of uh, um, a situation with an organization the three of swords and then you have a celebration so that is good as we look at the second week the energy of the moon with your enemies coming up and um, but your financial stability and your work situation so it's as if some of you have started a work um, um, 
a new work and you're seeing people for who they are so you're knowing who um, to be with and who not to be with so you have a strong foundation in the second week so um, you begin a new work for some of you it can be new work or you begin to connect in a network or a situation that has to do with a family but you um, have enemies and in the second week you're going to be seeing that and it's going to be happening on the work floor because you're going to be making more money and you have a stronger stability okay the energy of the hamper that comes up in the third week which is wonderful you have the king of swords so there is a situation with work that is going on you have someone who is an Aquarius Gemini Aquarius Gemini or Libra that is coming out and this person um, it, 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 he is your enemy he is your enemy whoever this person is he is your enemy so be aware of it that some of you have an um, some of you have a person that is an um, Aquarius Gemini or Libra he is your enemy so be aware of this okay um, inner strength is here the energy of inner strength is here to deal with an organization in the fourth week now um, whatever this organization or whatever is transpiring in this organization these people are being very dishonest so be aware of that second week going in the third week uh, there is a situation of with work or with people who you connect with or in a network and there is the energy of uh, five and three eight of swords you're not seeing a situation clearly so you people who have begin a new work be aware of this because some people are not being honest there is some jealousy that is going on here so you have to be aware um, a lot of jealousy is going on in the third week going in the fourth week you have the three of swords and now you have the five of swords some conflicts with um, employment and um, you, you, your, your company and the organization there is some conflicts it's as if um, a company or your boss try to do something and an organization say no hell no whenever she asks for the information then we will deliver it if she doesn't ask for the information you will not receive it so this is good because there is obviously an organization that is protecting you um, whatever that is transpiring an organization wants um, no yeah an organization because this is something that has to do with your boss or maybe it is you as a person that is trying to get some information over someone and they're saying no not until the person asks for it and this is good princess of Pentacles so this person could be um, the person who's trying to access your information and they say no you could be trying to access this person information because I'm seeing it um, in the third week that um, a, um, a man um, one of you um, Aries that is um, 45 years and older is trying to access some information about um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person you're going to get yourself in some trouble because you're being watched okay once um, you are over the age of 45 and you're accessing um, information over someone else that is not connected to you and uh, um, you're lying about it an organization is watching you you're being watched you're going to be in some serious trouble so this is for the men 45 years and over on over so whoever you are working with you are working with the king of swords and he's going to be your downfall you both are going to be falling in some very serious problem and you are not going to be getting out and neither the king of swords okay the more you dig against this lady who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is the more that you're going to be falling in some serious serious problems so let's look at your week as we go by first week is going to be good and with the financial sector your stability your financial stability is going to be very strong um, and this is going to affect the people who has been working on a positive note okay um, as, as someone um, who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to be and this is a person between the ages of 25 and 45 is going to be helping you guys out as we look at the second week there is a sort of a, a energy that you're going to be seeing your enemies for who they are and it has to do with your work your financial stability what what is going on but you have a strong foundation so not 
to worry about whatever is coming you have a strong foundation okay as we look at the third week the middle and the center of the month uh, we have the energy of uh, our organization a corporation and work and there is some heartbreaks for some of you especially if you are a man 45 years and over it's not going to be happening for you okay it is really not going to be happening for you because um, there is a situation that is happening where the king of swords is here we're going to be looking deeper in to see exactly what is happening so if you'd like to purchase the on demand um, the on demand is going to give you more in-depth information of what exactly is going on with this king of swords I'm not seeing him coming up as um, someone um, uh, um, um, a justice or um, someone in the legal field or that sort of a thing he is just here with his power trying to um, block things and to, um, want to change um, somebody's life and it has to do with um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person okay so whoever you guys for the rest of you guys it's 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 going to be wonderful the four week energy of the devil your week again so the first week um, the third week and the fourth week is your week the, these are the best weeks for you guys um, in the fourth week um, the energy of the devil comes up so some of you are going to be having a situation with the organization just going to be some heartbreak but yet still after the heartbreak and loss there is going to be a celebration okay and this is going to be good so whatever is as if some of you got a news that you're you know you're terminated or whatever and then you someone said hey um, there's a new opening and you're just just going to go in you're going to be finding the strength to move on someone who is a Sagittarius is going to be helping you out um, and this is going to be good it um, yeah it is a Sagittarius that is going to be coming and helping you out as we move forward um, in the fourth week we have the energy of the Prince of Pentacles the Prince of Pentacles is uh, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of 25 and 45 there is a celebration that is going to be coming in and this celebration has to do with um, you're going to find inner strength to deal with that person there is some conflicts and the conflicts come between that person and um, the queen uh, the, the 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 princess of Pentacles now this is a Taurus so this uh, these are um, um, <clears throat> Um, these people are between the ages of 25 and 45 and there are and uh, it has to be do with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and you it's as if you are stuck between um, these two people it's as if you are stuck between these two people whatever um, that made you guys stuck there is some this um, situation that needs to resolve and that is uh, um, the situation okay so um, your outcomes is um, the princess of Pentacles now the princess of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person now this lady whoever whatever you were trying to do she's gonna overcome the situation and um, you are going to be she's gonna overcome the situation whatever you were trying to do um, to this person she's gonna come out on top okay so if you people have been working against this lady um, she's going to basically come out on top have a wonderful month namaste